This is a video tutorial on Microsoft Access 2010. We are going to cover tables and relationships with tables in this tutorial. This is a basic tutorial for starting out and planning your database. It's very important to uh, properly set up your tables and relationships so that later on when developing your database, your queries, your reports, and your forms all work properly. So we already have tables built. Tables can be built by going to the Create tab, second table, and you can create them through there. The screen that is showing is the relationship screen, which can be found under Database Tools. Um, whenever you first open this, you will have the option to show table, select which tables you want to show. The database that we have open right now is a very basic database we're going to use for um, basically just different examples. It doesn't hold very much information, but it's a good way to show examples for this tutorial. So we have an employee table, an out sick date, and absent reason. And the way this was originally supposed to be set up is our manager would put in an employee, the date that they were out, and the reason why to keep track of it. So we built the employee table. Each one of these has a ID that is very independent, very, uh, it's a single ID. There has to be one ID for each item. You don't want duplicates. And the IDs match in each table. The reason is, is if we open up the table out sick, it shows the date that we recorded, and then it shows the other columns with the IDs from other related tables. So, instead of having the employee name in this table, we just have the ID, which comes in handy whenever you run a query on the information, it'll pull the name out according to the ID. So our options for uh, relationships, you're going to want to connect by selecting ID and dragging it down here. It says it already exists. It, it'll open up like this and show a screen similar to this one. You're going to want to enforce referential integrity, and what that is, is if you have items in a table that are connected to items in another table, like for instance products and orders, if we have one product connected to ten orders, you're going to want to make sure that if you do delete the product that's in the product table, that you don't have ten orders that are basically not connected to any information that are dangling in space in, in your database not connected to anything. That way, when you run a query or a report, you're not going to be able to get the proper amount of information out of it because it's not connected anymore. Referential integrity prevents that. It's a control feature within the program that makes sure that if something's deleted, it makes sure that it deletes it from all items or not at all. Same thing with updating. Your join type, you have three properties to choose from. This is basically selecting whether it's a one-to-one, one-to-many, or many-to-many -many relationship. More information on those relationships can be found uh, by going to Google or Microsoft or searching the web. You can find detailed information on those relationships. So basically each one of those depends on what your tables are doing, what your information is set up, how it needs to be set up in order for it to run that information. When you see these relationships, this is a one-to-many. The infinity symbol is a many symbol, meaning that we have one reason connected to many different out sick dates to where we have an employee ID, one employee ID to many out sick dates. In our next video, we'll cover uh, a little bit more on this and start working on queries of this information. Hope this video has been helpful, and um, if, if you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to our site.